Next, I'm going to test reporting services to make sure that it can make connections to the same external analysis services tabular database over on SPDB2. And I want to make sure that I can write reports, and when those reports run, they will delegate credentials properly. So the first thing I'm going to do here is create a data source. So a new document and a report data source is what I'll choose. And I'll call this I'll call this A Works Tabular. Tell it that this is an analysis services database. And put in my connection string, which is data source equals SPDB2 backslash tabular. And then my catalog is the initial database within analysis services to connect to. And I'll test the connection. It says created successfully and click OK. And this is Windows integrated authentication, so it will try to pass through the end user's credential to the backend database. And as long as I've configured my claims to Windows correctly and all of my security settings are right, then that will go right on through and pass my user credential rather than the service accounts. So next I'll go into my document library and I'm going to create a new report and I'll use the reporting data source that I created in the other library. So my new report, uh, again the scope of this training is basic functional testing so just a basic table will will be fine for what we're going to do. So we're going to create a data set. The data source that we'll use is within the data connections and we'll use that RSDS there. And if I test that, I get a solid, nice test. So I can continue through and just build a quick report. So again, something very similar. I'll just take total sales over here and maybe uh, product category, which I think what we did before. Oh, well, maybe not the, the number. That's kind of boring. So let's grab the category name. And then uh, from the date dimension, we'll grab the calendar year again. That'll be sufficient for the test that we're going to do and mark that as a parameter. Okay, that should be fine. That's uh, extremely basic, but all we need to do is, is make sure that we can interact with this report and have it do a data refresh along the way. So we'll take the total sales. We'll, we'll just put that in values and then put that in values as well. Okay, very boring report, but uh, but it'll get the job done. Maybe give the category name a little more space. Okay, and we'll title this just uh, test report or test delegation. And then I'm going to save that, and I'll drop that in the documents folder. And this is going to be my SSRS functional test. And I'll save that. And then before I exit the designer, I'll go ahead and run it from within reporting services uh, designer here make sure it works or it doesn't let's just run it for all okay so we're getting a pretty solid test there it's um, you know we're, we're able to hit the database we're not getting any errors and our numbers are hopefully changing as we go here yeah they are so that reports fine now let's go ahead and run that from SharePoint and make sure that it works within the uh, within the environment. And just uh, because I want to do kind of end-to-end -end testing, observing the inside of the black box, I'm going to clear out Profiler before I run this test. Come back in here and choose a calendar year. So I know 2003 is one of the ones I can choose. Apply that. And I have values. And then if I change that to 2004, I should have different values. I do, so I feel good about that. And if I look on the back end, I can see that yes, indeed, you know, that's my user ID that's being passed in here. So I'm very certain, I'm very confident that, in fact, my Kerberos delegation is working with reporting services. So we're two for two. So we're doing we're doing really well. So at that point, we've tested reporting services. It's working fine. It's delegating credentials as we expect. And we've tested that from end to end, observing in the database exactly what IDs are being passed in. So we're sure that we're not simply passing in the service account IDs.